Well, you've got a great trainer, uh, Buddy. Um, what holes do you see in Mikey that you think Sergey can can try and take advantage of, or is there such a thing? Does he just have to simply come up with a game plan that will be effective, or are there holes in this man's uh, game? Well, there's not many holes because he comes from a great family of boxing, you know. So we just have to uh, prepare for any and everything, and this way that uh, come fight night. We have an answer for everything, and if we don't have an answer for one thing, we have two answers for something else. But the key is that we just got to be on point, you know, uh, from from the beginning to the end. You know, I mean, there's there's uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But you know, I just I, I believe that um, that night, or right now, I should say that uh, Sergey right now is on a mission. I know Mikey's on a mission, and I respect it. I respect the fact that he's fighting Sergey, and. In respect to the fact that Sergey's fighting him, I mean, and people were asking me, why would you fight Mikey Garcia? I'm like, because the easier fights to me are at 147. You know I mean, and he doesn't want to go to 47 yet. I mean, I really wanted the other Garcia. Uh, Danny, I think that's an easier fight for us, but, you know, they didn't want to go up to 47, so, you know, they want to stay at 140. So, you know, um, champions do what Sergey's doing, and that's fighting the best. And uh, Mikey's doing what champions do, they fight the best, you know, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know what I mean? But um, before uh, we go to another question, I want to say congratulations to you. And I would like to ask the media and everyone in here a question for that. But I, I want everyone to be honest. It's pertaining to both fighters, but I need your honest opinion. Now, I know I'm not the most handsomest guy in the world, but these motherfuckers are ugly as hell. <laughs> That's a scary ass poster. <laughs> Jim, thank you. <laughs> we needed that, Richard. <laughs> Very good, buddy. With that, I think we'll open it up. I can't stop that. But just imagine we have to deal with it every day. <laughs> Did you translate that to him, or you don't, you don't want to tell him that? <laughs> Did you understand that, Sergey? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a scary part. <laughs> Next time, next time he holds me for it, he might miss just <laughs> accent. <laughs>